I know we all love RH projects, but are there any other coins you guys are invested in? <laughs> <laughs> Hedron, Icosa, yeah. um, Maximus. Like I'm investing pretty much all the coins in the ecosystem. And that's that's what I focus my attention on because I mean, there are other coins. There are certainly other coins that I've invested in historically, um, like before I knew about Hex. Yeah. And um, like, I mean, I still got some some BNB. I still got some, you know, a bunch of different tokens. But like, I just I'm just letting those sit. I haven't taken the time to really swap them over because they're it's not huge amounts. And um, but I'm fo why wouldn't I focus my time on what I think is going to do the most amount of X's? And in my personal opinion, I think that stuff in the Hex and Hex and Pulse Chain ecosystem are going to do the most X's. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, that's where where, where we started was um, with things like Cardano, and, um, and so, Ethereum. I mean, that was the first coin I ever bought was Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum. I mean, we used Ethereum basically just to go on good old uh, Binance when we had the when the Chinese version. Yeah, the Chinese version was awesome. Um, so we got kicked off that. <laughs> But um, no, I, I, own a lot, I own a lot of coins um, and a lot of them have done very well. I still hold a bunch of them just because I just spread everything around on lots of ecosystems um, and Hex has done the best out of all the systems. So that's the one that I, but I still own Gala Games. I still own I, Near Protocol and Algorand. I still purchased all of those other, um, even some Aptos. Um, I own a bunch just to spread it out. Um, but most of my stuff is in, in Richard Hart, uh, projects just because I think they'll do the, I, th I think they'll do the best, but I still own them just to limit risk and have, you know, different opportunity. But you know, where I, where I've done the best is in, in Hex. So, um, yeah, it's, and I, you know, I, I, I think I think it's okay. I mean, we're both of us are still just staking all our Cardano for a long, long term. Yeah. It's fine. You know, they'll probably I don't know. We'll just see. But yeah, yeah. Cardano's actually I'm, I don't know if I should say this. But I'm just are you doing it in Bitboy staking pool? No, he's killed on the staking pool. I know that that was one of the big things that he was that he that they were doing over there was like a big Cardano staking pool. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. Cardano's my biggest um, winner, actually. Really? Up, yeah. Because of your timing? Yeah, exactly. And so, like, <laughs> it's, in, I mean, I put all my money into Hex now when I right. invest, but I mean, Hex was not the first coin I invested into. And so, yeah, it's, it's interesting where people get in and when they get in and how they get in because that really shapes how they deal with crypto and yep. i mean hex did really well for my dad and so and i believe in the product now um but yeah we did not get in at the same time yeah my dad got in like what a year and a half earlier than i did into hex so i already had all these other cryptos and i mean they've done me well but um yeah it's just it's just what point you get in yeah yeah we got in to most crypto right after uh, the 2018 uh, crash, right when it when it was in the bear. So Cardano was like two cents, 2.6 cents, something like that. And so, and and we, when we invest, we wouldn't invest thousands. We'd invest hundreds, right? And 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 that was that's the case with most of them, you yeah. know. With, with so, and that's and that was actually the case with Hex. Yeah. So it was hundreds <laughs> rather than thousands. Yeah. And then as time has gone on, both of us have believed more in other projects like Hex. And so well, I can't hear you guys keep talking. Oh, I, no. <laughs> I, my earphones are doing something weird in my headphone. Oh, no.